As expected, Mike McGlinchey, right tackle, out. He goes to the Denver Broncos. And look, there was never any real expectation they were going to keep him. And that's one of the buyer beware realities of free agency. I haven't said it yet this year. I must be slipping. Again. Buyer beware. I'm getting old. But, but when you have a guy who spent his entire career with one team and they haven't signed him to a new contract and they're not aggressive about keeping him, it tells you something. Now, sometimes you can have a coaching change, philosophy change, but McGlinchey's been there the whole Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch tenure. So I think it just makes it critical to do even more research and understand why it is a team is making a decision to move on from a guy that they drafted and developed and that is now a free agent. And, you know, one of the realities is when you're part of a great team, other teams may view you as better than you are. You sure, know, if sure. Mike McGlinchey had been languishing with a crap team the last few years, would he really have attracted the attention of the Broncos? I don't know. I think part of it is you're with the 49ers. There's an aura that that comes with it, and there's an opportunity to take a little chunk out of one of the best teams in the NFL. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised that uh, we haven't seen. Well, we have seen an aggressive. We have seen an aggressive effort to attack the Eagles. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of an attack on the Chiefs. But that's the key. You you have a way to kind of even out the talent if you target the players with the best teams, even if those players wouldn't be the best free agents if they were with a crap team. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Chiefs, too, you know, like we just talked about during the Super Bowl, they got a young team. They don't got a lot of, like, huge free agents where you go, oh, wow, their team could be totally disrupted. Juan Thornhill, Orlando Brown, we hit on that. But you're right. You know, it's certertainly not the Eagles situation. The 49ers situation, I can speak to this, and I don't think, you know, my friend Kyle Shanahan would have any issue. He really likes Mike McGlinchey. I know that. He always liked Mike McGlinchey. I think this is more of a case, Mike, where they wanted Mike McGlinchey, but you got a new team, right? That a new, Not a new team, but a team with a new coach who's trying to set a new narrative and build a new culture, and he's got some money, and he's trying to rebuild his quarterback who's heavily invested in. And, you know, if you got to over, overpay for a guy to kind of set forth your new culture and your new way of life, and it's an important position like right tackle, you know, I, to me it looked more like, you know, it was just one of those where Denver was desperate to change it, the 49ers probably had a mark or a number where they went, wait, we'll go to that number. Denver exceeded that, and now Mike McGlinchey's at right tackle, which, you know, I will say, I think you heard me say, I, I would be shocked if Sean Payton didn't go all in on big, big feckers, okay, because he likes big feckers, all right? So I thought he would go all in on big feckers to protect Russell Wilson and start this revamping of his confidence and all of that stuff there. You like that, you fecker? <laughs> I've I've uh, created a feckin' monster. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, we'll talk more about the Broncos spending right. spree later in the program. Let's stay focused on the 49ers, cool. though. They also lost safety Jimmy Ward to the Texans. He's following D'Amico Ryan's new coach in Houston, former defensive coordinator of the 49ers. Look, this one was was not a surprise because they kept safety to Sean Gibson. Ward got bumped to slot corner last year. He really right. didn't like it, so now he gets a chance, presumably, to go to Houston and play safety unless D'Amico Ryan says, hey, I really liked you at slot corner last year. Would you mind sliding <laughs> right. down there? So Ward goes there. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.